one. Okay, what happened was at, at 420, um, as usual at these events, they did the countdown uh, to the 420 and everyone lit up, uh, everyone who was going to smoke lit up and uh, the, the park rangers moved in. It seems that only the park rangers actually do, do the, the carrying away uh, and the, the police strike force, uh, actually I didn't notice that before, I think this is one of the first times, they're not usually that many. Um, they arrested, they pulled three people aside, the first person I'm not too aware of, uh, his name, uh, second it was this is Chris Goldstein, this is his second arrest, and then right after that was Don Dizarn, he's libertarian candidate uh, for, I forget what he's running for right now, um, he's a, a, a good friend, he's a very great guy, um, but again, that's his second arrest, um, and what they do is they, they cart them back here to this, um, this little area. Yeah, it looks like Chris is uh, walking with this piece of paper right now, I'm, I'm going to zoom in on him and uh, get footage of him leaving. And he's walking free. He's not escorted. Chris, can you talk a little bit about that process and what you just went through? Well, since it's my second violation, I've been ordered to appear in court. So I'm not allowed to pay the $175 fine. I'll have to make a court appearance sometime in the next few months. So that's uh, interesting. So I'll have to talk to a couple lawyers about that. Um, it's a good thing I have some lawyers on backup uh, sort of waiting for us to do these every month. So um, well, I'll it, consult with them and see what's up. In what ways were you prepared and in what ways were you not prepared? Um, I wasn't prepared uh, uh, for the court appearance per se. Uh, I thought it might be a possibility. So. Um, I'll have to see what the mandatory court appearance uh, really means. Okay, thank you. All right. <laughs> How do I get to be a robot when I'm quieter than that? All they want to do is Hey, you want to talk about what just happened? Yeah, um, as soon as I lit up, they grabbed me. I think it's because I have red hair. <laughs> I stand out in the crowd, so um, they took me in. They were very polite, kept me behind my back. I cooperated the whole way. Um, they're doing their job. I feel like they get a bad rap sometimes. Sometimes they do things that we don't agree with, and I do. Uh, I got questions for you guys later. I love it. I do think there are bad apples, but most of the people out here are very professional. Um, I came out to support a cause. I wasn't trying to rile anyone up. I just came out here, uh, smoked my marijuana, and got a dollar seventy-five citation. So, yay! This is uh, justice right here. <laughs> now you shook the hand of the man who escorted you over here. What was your conversation like? If you don't mind sharing that. Um, the conversation was just talking about how to change the way we go about things. Uh, I was talking to them more about their perspective on it. Um, they said that they don't like that they're very loud and when they get disrespectful, and that kind of encourages them. They didn't use that word encourage to arrest people, but they get riled up and they are more enticed to. Um, they said what they should do is they should find a more constructive way to go about it. Um, I wasn't here earlier when the tension rose and there was someone arrested and taken away. I did hear about that though, uh, and that was an unfortunate event, but uh, I wasn't there, I can't really talk about that. Um, I just think we kind of need to go about it in a more constructive way and maybe voice our opinion in a more intricate way rather than yelling uh, necessarily. I don't know. Um, we also have to show up in more numbers, definitely. I feel like there's a lot of my friends back home who are like me and can show and vouch that not everyone is always uh, over the top, over the wall, and a little bit more normal and can relate to most other people. In what ways were you prepared and in what ways were you not prepared? Um, well, I just kind of came and showed up. This was my first time and it stinks. I didn't even get to smoke like a quarter of it. I got one hit and they grabbed me and took it. I didn't get it. Jeez, you got lucky. <laughs> I got lucky. I got like the hit of lighting it. <laughs> oh, that stinks. See, I got... I, I got to t grab it, oh, I got looks to hit like, it one uh, time. And looks like there's another arrest over here, huh? Yeah, sadly. Oh, oh. Do you know that individual? No, I don't. I'm Do only you know this me. individual? No, I don't, but he is uh, one of the... Great, I'm going to grab him for an interview. Yes, he's one of thank the best you. speaking at the event. Um, thank you for what you did, sir. Do you want to talk about what just happened? Sure. What just happened? I was just cited for a second offense for possession of a controlled substance on federal property. And how do you feel about that? Uh, pretty much the same way I did the first time. It pisses me off. 
that I'm not able to smoke a plant that God put on this earth that has never hurt one person. What do you think about the role of uh, police at an event like today's? I think it's pretty sad when you know, I'm, I'm certain there's people that are being physically harmed right now due to a lack of a law enforcement on the street and they're out here trying to silence people expressing the First Amendment rights. Very what, sad. What do you plan to do from here on out? Well, I'm going to continue my campaign. I'm running for New Jersey State Senate in the 14th District. My number one issue is legalizing marijuana. I'm going to keep uh, speaking out on that. I'm going to keep fighting the fight, and I'll be here next month. Thank you. Thank you. How can people find your uh, name or website? It's dezarn, D-E-Z-A-R-N, 2013.com. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else uh, who was cited want to say words? I was cited for civil disobedience because I was a bad girl. Tell me more. I don't know. I just was smoking the joint. I didn't even get to really hit it. I was lighting it up. And I know I like to smoke weed. What can I say? Hey. How did you hear about this event? I've known Poe for a while and I've been wanting to go to these events and I have a lot of gigs too sometimes. So I really haven't got a chance. But, you know, finally get the chance and then, you know, we get put whatever. What's money? And I got plenty of weed. So. All right. You come in next time? Actually, I have, there's a festival that weekend. I'm probably going to be at a festival that weekend, okay. but I'll be around in the future. That's terrible. All right, well, yeah. thanks. Thanks for well, doing what you terrible, do. But... No, enjoy it. When you, got, when you got places to be sometimes, man, and people... All right. You. Well, I'll be here. I'll be around. Seems like things are dying down, but I do keep seeing people getting arrested, so I'm gonna keep filming just in case anything interesting happens.